Lab Guy here. Just a quick update for you today. I'm showing you very quickly the setup of the Philo Cam on the bench and the uh, Robot 61 monitor now connected to the camera. Everything is turned off at the moment except the monitor. And uh, the current test setup is where we have the slide tape to the front of the tube and the high intensity LED illuminating the face of the tube and the external video amplifier on the breadboard. As mentioned, the monitor is now connected to the camera's video output jack that is now wired up for sync. The video is coming from the breadboard and being fed to the monitor from there. I've done nothing about the noise problem with the power supply yet. This is the test setup in order to address those issues. So if we look real quick, when I turn the camera on, you can see the interfering noise on the Philocam monitor. That is power supply switching noise and it can be varied with the adjustments of the uh, camera tube settings as you see here. Then we turn on the power supply for the LED and you see the LED light up right down here and by adjusting the uh, brightness of the LED you can begin to see uh, Farnsworth's uh, mug on the uh, screen and we can play with the settings of the camera tube bias to uh, vary the quality of the image there as well. But for now, the first order will be to uh, eliminate the, uh, the switching power supply noise that is in the, uh, in the video stream at the moment. I'm running at the moment with a gain of 1000 on the video amplifier and um, varying the various adjustments on the uh, dissector tube and showing the various changes. This is the photocathode voltage and it actually interacts to throw the image out of focus. So uh, there is, I read there was an interaction between the focusing coil and the photocathode voltage. I guess we're seeing that. This is this adjustment that I'm turning now is the uh, electron multiplier admittance that is the voltage on the first dynode and this adjustment is the uh, divider chain the the dynode divider chain current adjustment so I am able to control uh, certain aspects of the tube and uh, get various uh, effects on the image so we are now able to see the image on the proper monitor which has now freed up the oscilloscope for probing uh, as an oscilloscope so that I can now proceed to work. Uh, I'm producing this video this week for you uh, to see that um, I'm not uh, resting on my laurels. I am getting the, uh, the project to move forward. Uh, just a brief note, uh, I learned some things this week about the, uh, the Chief and I've made some improvements in the um, in the uh, video peaking circuit so that the image is now very crispy on the monitor. There is still a small amount of overshoot distortion and low frequency uh, response issues, but it's a thousand percent better than it was. So that is your uh, weekly Lab Guy report. And uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If, uh, if you know people who like this subject matter, please tell them about my channel and uh, also be sure to visit www.labguysworld.com and click into the electronics and video projects to see uh, the projects I have built and a few that are on the bucket list to be built and you'll see that there is uh, many exciting things happening at Lab Guys World. Uh, thank you for watching my video. This is Lab Guy out.